What you see here is the so-called Hoshin Kanri model, sometimes also referred to as the X matrix. Why X matrix? Well, not 100% sure, but I think it has something to do with the big X here in the middle. Could be the reason. Anyway, what we have here is we have a matrix and this matrix is very, very useful to translate strategic goals into annual goals, into improvement priorities and measurements to keep track of those improvement priorities. And last but not least, make sure that it's clear who is responsible for which part of all of our improvement priorities. So what it actually does is it helps us to prevent the situation in which we do formulate strategic goals, but we don't know what to do in the short term. We don't know what buttons to turn and we don't know how to measure whether we are on the right track or not. And we are not really assigning any responsibilities. So here we cover all of these problems. We start basically at the bottom where one or multiple strategic goals are formulated by an organization. And a strategic goal has basically a long-term perspective. And so we talk about strategic goals uh, when we have goals for the coming three to five years, okay? Now suppose that for uh, an organization, a fictional organization, their strategic goal was to increase employees in department C by 50% in five years, okay? Now, what we do subsequently is we translate that into annual goals. Okay, so what, uh, what should be happening in the coming five years is clear, but what should happen in the coming year, okay? And we write the following down over here. So for starters, we want to increase employees in department C by 10% in the coming year, okay, 10%. Now you're free to choose here 10% or 20% or 5% or as long as all of these years combined eventually are going to add up to the 50% increase that you have as a goal. And subsequently, I also have another annual goal and that is reduce employee turnover to 5%. Okay, now employee turnover is the people who leave. Now, what I do subsequently is if you click over here, you can basically uh, select whether you want a little circle or a little uh, cross. And a circle means that there's a primary relationship uh, between the factors and a cross means there's a secondary relationship with the factor. And obviously, if there is nothing here, that means uh, no relationship or an extremely weak relationship. Now here, I put um, the this, uh, this circle because obviously increasing employees by 10% is very strongly related to this strategic goal. This one, the next, uh, the one next to it, so reducing employee turnover by 5% is a more indirect relationship with this one. So I put there a secondary relationship there. Now, what are we going to do concretely to achieve this? Because these are nice goals to have for the coming year, but what are you concretely going to do? Which buttons are, are you going to uh, basically play around with? Well, in this particular case, we came up with three uh, things. Does it have to be three? No, you can also have four or five or six. What is generally good is if you cover each one of these by at least two. That's not always possible. That's not always realistic, but that is more or less the goal, which means that here we didn't cover all of them by two. So this is not the, the most optimal situation, but be aware of what would be the optimal situation. Anyway, what we're going to uh, improve our improvement priorities. First of all, we're going to introduce an employee satisfaction survey. We're going to approach the benchmark compensation package for our sector. So we're going to look at what is, let's say, the standard in our sector. And we're going to try to approach that to not be uh, too different from that in a negative way. And we're going to do some business with a hat hunting agency. So these are agencies that you pay and then they deliver you candidates. They deliver you potential employees. What we do here subsequently is the same as what we did before. So with these little circles and these crosses uh, or emptiness, we indicate whether there's a, a primary relationship, a secondary relationship or no relationship uh, at all. If it's no relationship, we just keep them blank. 
Uh, but here, for instance, we put um, a little uh, circle, which means there's a primary relationship or an important relationship between this improvement effort, so introducing the employee satisfaction survey, and this goal, namely reducing the employee turnover to 5%. Okay, the employee turnover is the amount of people who leave the organization. Okay, so here we have basically our improvement priorities. Now we need KPIs or key performance indicators or measures to keep track of how well our improvement priorities are actually going because we do have to keep track of that. We cannot just, you know, after five years say, hey, you know what, what we tried to do failed. You have to have these measurements throughout the process so you can see whether you're going in the right direction or not. Now, for instance, what we have, one of the KPIs is the employee satisfaction score. And obviously that one has a, a strong relationship or a primary relationship with this one, namely introducing the employee satisfaction survey. Okay, so this one has a, a, a clear relationship with that. However, we don't have anything, we don't have a measurement for this one and we don't have a measurement for this one. This is not... Uh, the right way to go forward. And so at this point, this uh, matrix basically warns you and say, hey, you have here two improvement priorities that you don't have any kind of measurement for. So you do need to come up with these measurements. For instance, just to give you an example here, approaching the benchmark compensation uh, of the sector when it comes to the compensation package. Well, I might have here, for instance, as a, as a KPI, the deviation between our package and the, the, the standard package in the, uh, uh, in the sector. So if, if the standard package is that an employee earns, I don't know, $3,000 and we right now uh, give them $1,000, then the deviation is $2,000, okay? Now, um, the, 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 the depth or the, uh, um, the size of that deviation, that would be a decent KPI or a decent measurement to show whether we are on our way to achieve this particular um, improvement priority. And obviously you also need to come up with a nice KPI for this one. And so this matrix is not just a nice list, but it's also a warning um, of, of important factors missing. What we do subsequently is per improvement effort, we're going to write down who is responsible for that. Eh? So uh, John, Kim, Akito, we have these uh, three employees, and then we write down who is responsible for what. For instance, John is the primary responsible person for this one, So, uh, but he is the secondary uh, responsible person for uh, this one, okay? Because the primary responsible person for this one is actually uh, Kim, okay? And uh, this is it.